The Beatles famously declared, All You Need Is Love. In Philadelphia, we feel All You Need Is The Love Statue. Pause. Wait. While many refer to it as the love statue, that is a misnomer. Statues refer to people or animals. The iconic structure that sits at 15th Street and JFK Boulevard in Center City is a sculpture. The story of the love sculpture begins in 1932 at Cornell University, where a man named Bacon was working on his senior thesis. No, not Kevin Bacon, but actually his father, Edmund Bacon. In his thesis, a civic center for Philadelphia, Bacon, that's Ed Bacon, envisioned a park at the end of the Ben Franklin Parkway. It would take close to 30 years, but his vision came true in the form of JFK Plaza. The plaza was completed by the mid-1960s, but it needed something more. In 1976, artist Robert Indiana lent Philly his love sculpture for the city's bicentennial. The word love was a major theme in Indiana's works, but this particular design, created with an L, and a slanted O above a V and an E grew in popularity and was adopted as part of the counterculture of that era. It was even made into a stamp. But after two years serving as a Philadelphia landmark, Indiana asked for payment for his work, $45,000. The city did not meet his request, so Indiana took the sculpture to New York. Enter Fitz Eugene Dixon. Dixon had already made big moves in Philly in the 1970s. He had bought the 76ers and two months later was able to sign Dr. J, Julius Irving, to the team. But now he wanted that sculpture back where it belonged. So Fitz countered Indiana's offer and gave him $35,000, bring love back to the city of brotherly love. The love sculpture remained in JFK Plaza, now referred to as Love Park, for all to see until a restoration was needed in 2016. It returned to its rightful space, complete with its original red, green, and purple colors, two years later. Robert Indiana passed away in 2018. But it's been said he often spoke about how very fond he was of the city of brotherly love and shared that he was very proud to have one of his love sculptures installed in Philadelphia.